It is November 2020 during the time of recording. In less than two months time, this video will be historical. You and I are writing history right now. I can't thank you enough that you've chosen to be a part of it. You have my gratitude. I can hear you ask, what on earth are you on about? Well, if you haven't heard, Adobe Flash is set to be discontinued at the end of 2020. This is because HTML5 does everything Flash does, only better. Except for one thing, running Flash games. As soon as Flash is disabled, Flash games will stop being available as well. We're writing history together because everything you see on screen right now will never be playable ever again. Hi, I am mediocre at Flash games and in this video I will explain why everyone is going to miss them. If you were born before or during the early zeros, you probably know what Flash games are. But for all you young snappers out there, allow me to educate you. The short version is this. Flash games are games that can be played on the internet via a web browser. The program Adobe Flash is used to develop and run these games. Flash made it easy to develop games and animations by anyone. It was also a popular alternative to consoles at the time because Flash games are mostly free. One of the most popular sites for Flash developments is Newgrounds. Newgrounds slogan is everything by everyone. This sounds good doesn't it? On paper? Then you remember that there are some sick f**ks out there. Kill Bowsette in a Blender 2? They made a prequel! The traffic of Newgrounds reached a peak in 2005. I was 10 years old at that time. Also, a side note real quick. If you are a parent and you're watching this, moderate this stuff your children see on the internet. Protect your kids from the internet because the internet will never ever do it for you. What does graphic content adult only mean? <laughs> so, it's no secret that Adobe Flash was used for some grim purposes. But, the importance of Flash should never be underestimated. It was definitely used for good purposes as well. Some indie games that are now available on consoles and Steam started out as Flash projects. Fun fact, this game also does a good job of building Dread. Flash games were the advent of some of these games. Without Flash, we wouldn't have them. Flash games meant so much to us in the late 90s and the early zeros, and after that we barely touched them. Then why are we going to miss them? I think there are at least two plausible explanations for this. One, scarcity. Two, nostalgia. Allow me to explain. Scarcity. If you experienced high school, you probably knew someone who was unpleasant but good looking. They had huge badonkadonk. People bent over backwards to romantically pursue them, because the unpleasant person gave them not much in terms of attention. Their attention was scarce. Because that attention is scarce, people wanted it even more. Why? Our brain tricks us into believing something is more valuable if it's harder to get, while this may not even be the case. Flash games feel outdated in most cases, but because it's all going away after this December, it's easier to overlook that. On top of that, the desire to have something increases if the product of your want is scarce. We're not going to be able to play Flash games soon. And since people generally want what they cannot have, Flash games will be more desirable. This scarcity makes us value Flash games more than we would if it was not disappearing. Nostalgia Nostalgia is a sentimental longing or wistful affection for a period in the past. Remember Blockbuster? Blockbuster was a company that rented out movies on VCR and DVD. They were killed by Netflix and put in a shallow grave by other streaming services. The model of Blockbuster became outdated. Streaming services were more convenient and easier to maintain. So Blockbuster was made obsolete. Uh, why isn't anyone showing up? Halloween night, people should be renting spooky movies. No place like the video store, eh, my friend? Convenience at its peak. Your son and wife don't seem to quite agree with you about the video store. 
In fact, your son seems to think video stores are as ancient as Madonna's boobs. Then Blockbuster announced that it would file for bankruptcy and everyone lost their goddamn minds. Blockbuster was part of their upbringing and childhood. People had fond memories of it. The fact that it would never be usable again made people go nuts. Everyone was too busy watching Netflix to care about Blockbuster. But when Blockbuster was going away, people were outraged because a big part of their childhood was going to disappear from day to day life as well. Something similar is happening with Flash games in 2020. A lot of people have fond memories of Flash games and knowing that it will all disappear soon makes people nostalgic for them. These feelings of nostalgia will make people miss Flash games even more. I can hear you ask, what about the young people who never even played Flash games? I did my research and it's likely that they may even feel a sense of loss due to Flash games being discontinued. This is because of the phenomenon, collective nostalgia. Collective nostalgia refers to the nostalgia originating from emotional attachment to collective cultural identities without earlier personal participation. So it is entirely possible to feel nostalgic about something you've never experienced. We are all probably gamers here, which can be seen as a cultural identity of itself. Flash games used to be a big part of that culture and the fact that it's disappearing soon is a loss for that culture. Even if you've never experienced Flash games for yourself, you can probably feel that you're going to miss them. With all that being said, I would like to leave you with this conclusion for today. Flash games will soon be gone. We are going to miss them. Because the remaining days we can still play them are becoming more and more scarce. We probably also hold nostalgic value for flash games, which makes it hurt even more. Knowing that we'll never get to play Swords and Sandals again hurts. I will miss flash games forever. Oh! Swords and Sandals is on Steam! Disregard the whole video, bye!